Okay, so now we're going to have a little look at a two-eye visual skill. So this is called depth perception. This is a measurement of how well the two eyes work as a unit, so often called stereopsis. So depth perception is really important for judging where we are relative to our opponents, relative to terrain changes, all that sort of stuff. Now, if we have one eye that sees really well and one eye that maybe doesn't see as well, that can affect the eye teamwork and that can really have a, a detrimental effect on our, our ability to judge sort of accurately where we are relative to our opponents. Now, for example, if you've ever tried to throw a ball into a bucket from a distance and you do that with one eye closed, you'll find that you're a lot less accurate. You'll also see that when people are playing tennis, when people are driving, for example, they're hardly ever going to be closing one eye because they then lose their relationship in space with other objects. Objects. So this is very much like the old school magic eye books of the 90s when you used to have to try and look and defocus your eyes and then all of a sudden a, a picture would come out of the page. Um, so if we just sort of activate this with this one, in order to do the test we need to put on these 3D stereoscopic glasses. And what you'll see are again four circles. And one of the circles is going to be bigger, it might look as though it floats, it might look as though it's closer to you than the other three. And the way this works is once we go through the demonstration video, you'll see that one of the circles has got a red ring around it and a blue ring. So in this case, if I was wearing the glasses, my left eye would see the red ring, my right eye would see the blue ring, and then I would see that 3D stereoscopic image. However, if one of my eyes is suboptimally focused, so for example in my contact lenses, if this was a little bit underpowered, or even if my contact lenses weren't clean, if they were dirty, then that would negatively affect how the two eyes work together. And again, this is a really important thing for those of you who do wear contact lenses. If you imagine that you wear, for example, a monthly lens, the lens performance is always going to be a little bit worse on day 31 than it is on day one. So something as simple as trying to go into daily disposable contact lenses for playing paintball is going to be a winner because that can actually help to make sure you've got crisp, clean, sharp, accurate vision straight away. So if we just start the test. Okay, so here we can see we've got three rings which are completely black and there we've got the one ring which has got the, the red and the blue around it. And as we proceed with the test, these little rings are going to get closer and closer and closer together. So what we call the disparity, the difference between them is going to be a lot more difficult to find. And this is going to help to assess that player's depth perception to the nth degree. Depth perception is trainable, so sometimes we find that we have somebody who actually doesn't really have very good stereopsis, we can find ways to help to improve that, and that's all about eye muscle training.